Welcome to Delcam Crispin Shoemaker Pro 2014 R2 Watts new session. And in this new session, we're going to be looking at piece edge treatments and the new padding functions. So I've got my model already open in the modeling window. And what we're going to do is give representation through edge treatments and padding of a bagged seam. So the first thing to do is look at how I created these panel pieces. So if I double click on each, you can see that the lining piece is offset 0.5, thickness 1.5, and the collar piece, for example, is offset to thickness 1.5. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply the edge treatments. So I go to my edge treatments, select my edge, and this time you can see we have two new options for outside collar seam, inside collar seam. So on the lining, I'm going to apply the outside collar seam. This has moved the texture from the inside lining over to the edge of the panel piece as though it's rolled, but we still got a square edge. If we come out, I'm going to repeat the process on this panel piece. In this case, I'm going to select the inside collar seam. And again, the texture has come round. Now I'm just going to apply padding to this to give it the appearance of a padded collar. So if I go into padding mode, we have some new options. We have something called the spread. Now the spread is controlling how much of a flat zone there is in the center of the panel. So we're pushing almost the padding to the edge of the panel piece by increasing this value. We have the thickness as what you're used to seeing. So this just increases the padding thickness. And also we have the edge offset of thickness. So this is the pushing the padding away from the edge of the panel. So if I increase this spread up to 10, the offset also increased quite high. And I'm going to select this so that the padding is applied to the inside. And I'm going to select my panel and select once more. The padding has now been applied to the inside and to a high level. You can see that the spread has pushed up the, so that the padding is almost tangential to the top surface of the panel piece. We're going to go and pad the collar, but this time we're just going to give a very simple padding, so no spread, maybe down to two, apply, and here we have our padded collar. So we've got it so that the seam is going in and it's curving round on itself. Okay, so then we'll turn that level off and we'll go to another level of panels. This one is to give the representation of a similar kind of bagged collar panel, but this time the seam location is on the outside of the padding. So, panel pieces. The lining is offset 05, thickness 2.5. The collar is offset 1.2, thickness 2.5. So the collar is crashed into the lining piece. You may also notice that the lining is higher than the collar. And this distance here is 0.6 for this example. So similar to before, I'm going to select my piece and apply an edge treatment. And again, I'm going to use the outside seam I'm going to select this panel piece here and apply edge treatment. And in this case, it's just simply I'm going to select bag seam on both. So we can see what's happening here. We're having a seam that's going into the padding. So again, back to the padding option, increasing the spread to 10, thickness to say 8 or 7, switch to the inside. Select the panel, select again. This time go back in, zero spread, lower value for thickness, select and select again. Probably could do with reducing that a little further so that the padding is quite subtle. Let's take the last out to have a look. So we've got a thick inner padding 
with an outside collar. Okay. Now just to look at the final parts of the, the padding tool, we're just going to turn on another panel piece, thickness etc doesn't matter. But if we to select the panel piece, we can actually select boundaries now within the panel piece to control where we do the padding. So you may be able to see better now the spread. So I'm just going to reduce the overall thickness, scrolling my middle mouse button down over the icon. And we're going to look at increasing the spread, for example. As you can see, as the spread is increased, so is the bulge out to vertical. Let's reduce that a little bit so you can see the difference. So if we make this quite up to vertical, and let's use the increase offset. We can see that the padding is moving in now from the original line. So we're offsetting the padding from the original line position that created the padding. 